Hey everyone, welcome back to Pi Analytics or go to place for Power BI and data analytics tutorials and I am back with yet another important video on Power BI. So today I am going to talk about or rather compare DAX versus the M language in Power BI. Now I have already made a detailed video on DAX and I highly recommend that you go and check it out first if you don't know how to work with DAX just yet because this video will mainly focus on M language and how it differs from DAX itself. Now DAX is basically data analysis expression and these are formulas that are very similar to Excel and you use these in Power BI to create measures and calculated columns for data modeling. On the other hand, M language is a feature of the Power Query editor that helps with advanced data transformation and lets you load data from external sources in Power BI such as Excel, SQL, other web sources, etc. Now DAX and Power Query or the M language have unique roles in the data preparation and modeling processes and you need to master both of these in order to become a successful data analyst, especially when you choose to work with Power BI. Now, when should you use what? So basically, you use DAX when you need to create new columns or measures within your data model, define relationships between tables or perform complex calculations and Power Query or the M language on the other hand is the right tool for the job when you need to connect to various data sources, clean and shape your data or perform data modeling and preparation tasks. Now I am going to quickly show you how you can work with the Power Query editor in Power BI and how to write a simple query in the M language. Now this is the home page of Power BI and uh, in order to go on the Power Query editor, you select transform data and you can see a Power Query editor will open up and uh, this is my data. So I will quickly undo these steps that I was using while playing around with my data. So this is my data set. It has about 20 columns and 700 rows and I will leave a link in the description box below for this data set when you try to practice on your own. Now, suppose, so there are a lot of built-in functions in the Power Query editor itself. Suppose I want to remove this column, I will select this column and click on remove. I can also select, say, seven to eight columns, I don't know what, and uh, remove other columns. So these columns will stay and the other columns will be removed. I can also, remove duplicates from my data set so yeah i have removed the duplicates i can also say replace certain values so this works similar to find and replace say i want to replace canada with can and i will press ok so we can see that canada has been replaced with can and there are a lot of other built-in functions that you can play around with. You can replace your errors. So if there are any errors in your data set, you can replace that with some other value that you might like. Now, these are the built-in functions that are already there in the Power Query editor. But for more advanced purposes, you need to use the M language. So in order to use the M language, what you do is you go on the home column and you select advanced editor. And yes. So don't be scared by looking at this. This is just a log of all the operations that we just performed. A log has been created here and here as well. So you can see this is a hashtag replace value, remove duplicates, remove other columns and stuff like that. So basically what I'll do now is I will remove this and I will write a simple code in the M language. So in order to do that, what you do first is that you write let this is how you write start every m language code by writing let and then say i want to create a list called pi analytics list and i will press and uh, write an equals to sign list elements are always stored within curly brackets so yeah this is a curly bracket and say i want one in my list i want three i want five i can also store elements of other data set types such as strings so say i want power bi here i can do that now i will press enter and in order to output elements you use the in statement so you write in and i want to output elements of 
output the pi analytics list that I just created. So I will press done. And yes, we can see that the list has been created. So there's one, three, five and power bi all the elements that I wanted. Now suppose I want to count the number of elements that are in my list. So I will create another variable called count and before creating a variable, don't forget to type a comma before every new variable. So count equals to list dot count. You can see there are so many other functions that you can play around with. Uh, so list dot count and I want to count the elements of my analytics list and I want to output the count variable which is the number of elements that are in the list. So I will press on done. And yes, we can see that there are four elements in my list. So this will be helpful when there are way too many rows in your data set and you just want to count the number of elements. And uh, you can also multiply the count variable. I'll create another column called product, sorry, another variable and I will multiply its elements with say 5 and I will output product so we should get the result 20 if this works correctly yes we have the result so this is how you can use the power query editor in power bi how you can write a simple query in the m language and this is a very basic query of course there are more advanced functions that can be done using the m language and we will come up with another video for just that very, very soon. And so you need to stay tuned to the Pi Analytics channel. And please like, share and subscribe for more Power BI content. We are going to come up with a lot of advanced content very, very soon. So please stay tuned. Thank you so much and all the best on your journey to becoming a data analyst.